Hey guys, it's Ducky from Tech Addicts here. Today I've got one of our builder PCs. It's a budget gaming machine and it's a perfect machine for getting started with gaming on PCs without having to outlay too much money up front. The machine that I have right here is our special edition of the builder PC. It features artwork from Sailor Larian on the side and it was created for NexusCon in Coffs Harbour. The builder features an AMD Ryzen 3 2200G CPU. This one's pretty budget, but it has enough power to run most games pretty well. It's got 8GB of DDR4 RAM, which is plenty for doing pretty well anything. It's got an ASUS Prime A320M-K motherboard. While this is a budget mainboard, it still has all the features you need for later down the line when you want to upgrade, including an M2 slot for a solid state drive. It comes with a Seagate 1TB 7200 RPM drive, so plenty of storage space. Uh, for the graphics, we've got an NVIDIA GTX 1050 2 gig card. This is about as low as you want to go for gaming, and while I was a little bit hesitant about it being in this machine, see the benchmarks a bit later in this video and you'll see that my fears were actually for nothing. As for the case, we've got the Cooler Master Masterbox TD500 case. I'm actually pretty keen to use this case in a few more builds later down the line, as it looks really nice. It's got some nice light up fans with it, and the side panel looks like tempered glass, but it's actually just plastic. Uh, we included a Corsair VS 550 watt power supply. It's actually slightly overkill for this sort of machine, but it will allow you to upgrade the machine easily later down the line. But also remember that all of our machines are built to water, so if you don't like one particular part, we can always change them around to suit your needs. I spent a good day benchmarking everything and having a good play around with this machine. The short of it though, it's actually better than I expected. Here's some quick synthetic benchmarks. Uh, if you just want to test your machine and how, see how it compares, there's a link in the description of this video with a guide on how to run the benchmarks. As for gaming performance, I tried a number of games at different settings, all at 1080p. Ideally, anything from 30 to 60 FPS is definitely playable. Over 60 FPS is ideal, and over 144 FPS is where you get into esports territory. None of the games actually got over 144 FPS on this machine, but they were they all ran very smooth and they were playable. And you're not likely to notice unless you bought a gaming monitor that supports the higher refresh rates. First up, we have Overwatch. On low to medium graphics, I was getting over 100 FPS on average, with dips down to about 70. It all ran really smooth. You can even crank, crank it up to ultra settings with an average of around 70 FPS. The next game is Fortnite. On low settings, you get an average FPS of 152, however it looks terrible. Turning it up to high settings, you're getting about 63 FPS, which is fine. There were some dips on all of the settings. I didn't notice them too much, but it did actually drop significantly. Next up we have Rainbow Six Siege. It ran really well on all of the settings, even on Ultra at about 70 FPS. Lastly, I picked something that I knew it would have a lot of trouble with, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. This game is very demanding on computers, and only just came out recently. On low settings, I actually got a fairly playable 56 FPS average, on medium settings 31 FPS, High settings, I had 28 FPS, and then when I put it on Ultra, it just crashed. I wasn't expecting much, but it did actually go a bit better than I expected. One other benchmark I did try out was the boot time. It takes about 37 seconds to boot into Windows and to be ready to use, but you could improve this a lot by upgrading to an SSD. That should halve the time it takes to boot up, at least. So all up, this machine is better than I was expecting. Uh, it'll play most games on low to medium graphics just fine, and we actually built it to be upgradable for any part that you like later down the line. For example, the video card or the solid state drive or anything you like. Uh, it's, this machine is perfect for a gamer on a budget or somebody looking to get started into PC gaming. If you're after one, come check us out at 2 62 Mooney Street in Coffs Harbour or have a look at our website techaddicts.com.au.